Hello, hello, and welcome to our full moon message for all the zodiacs in the horoscope wheel. So what do we have here? We have a wowsy wowsy of a moon. We have eclipse. We have a moon lunar eclipse. And what does that mean for all of us? Bam! Our emotions are now going to be climaxing and it is going to be time to purge away anything that we need to leave behind. So, whether we feel ready or not, it's happening. And this moon is also known as the flower moon. So let's think about the concept of a flower in this beautiful month of May. What does it mean with a seed? When you've ever watched those slow motions of how seeds sprout, there is some stress as it's pulling away to blossom out. So that is some of the things that we may be experiencing during this cycle that sense of pushing through for transformation and a rebirth. Not always easy. And I love the moon because as it transitions in that 28, 30 somewhat days, it gives us a chance to see our own transformation and to progress from the beginning to the middle to the end. And we could use that as we move through our own journey in life. So, what do we need to know about this moon? Well, guess what? We're going to have a lot of Scorpio energy happening here. So, Scorpios are going to feel in their element. And you know what that means. Wowsy. It is about facing our truths that lie beneath the surface of our lives. And as we allow the truth to surface, we begin to bloom. So, Kudos to all the Scorpios out there. And you know what? The water signs are going to be feeling very comfortable as well. So for the fires and the air and the earth, a little bit of a challenge. But you know what? We can handle it. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lay out the cards for the full zodiac. Since we're in the month of April, we'll go ahead and start with Taurus. So let's lay it out first. Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. All right. Let's go ahead and get our next deck on here. See what these cards reveal. Okay, again, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. So each one is going to get a full balanced message. Okay, let's line it all up. And I hope that you are having a great day and that... You use this beautiful moon to help you also let go of things that no longer serve you and set yourself up for the new rotation. Okay, let's get started here with Taurus. Okay, my Tauruses. Hmm. Well. There is a very big issue that you are confronting here, and it's part of what I would call the big lessons in life that you have. And this month, you're going to find that you're feeling a little bit chaotic, that things are disorganized, and it is time for you to balance things out. And some of the things that we see here also is that there's, 
you are in need of structure and uh, organization. And so there are things happening in your life right now that is pushing you to become a little bit more organized, to create more structure for yourself. And there also may be something with a collective group that are dealing with authority and you're having a little issue with that. And I don't, I don't know if this is, and I'm seeing things that could be authority in financial matters and in, in issue with mortgages. So there's some issue with, for a bunch of you with having to deal with organizing your foundation. And I'm getting a message for a good bunch of you that it has to do with legal matters and home, home security. Okay. So then let's take a look at this here. Wow. We have a coffin, bad investment financial challenges, savings um, in regards to career, office work, night shift, and a job ending. So I could see how this structure is somewhat crumbling in the foundation that you have. So pay attention to that as you can just prepare yourself to incubate yourself from anything that may be happening that may put you in a, in a situation where, you know, trying to keep roof over your head and you know your family fed and things like that so the full moon is asking you to seek your truth this is not about a blame game this is not about you know this is somebody's fault and this is that person's fault or the government's fault or, you know what this is about and what can i do now based on what i know so that i can move forward because you know what everybody talking and blaming it's not going to help you right now taking action Embracing the truth and moving forward is your best course of action. Okay, next one up is Gemini. Hmm. Okay, well, what we see here is, my dear Gemini, what, what we see here is a situation that you may be fa facing um, a, a situation that has brought on a crisis and looking on how to manage that situation. But more so is a sense of loss, a sense that something cannot be restored, something cannot be brought back. And as you look at this situation, you can't help but just feel that you're stuck in that, you know, and, and the, the, the best and healthy thing is, is to acknowledge your feeling and move forward as best as you can and move through that challenge and ask the universe to help you see the golden, or what's it called? To help you see the silver lining in the situation. So here it's about moving forward with steady income and keeping yourself busy, keeping yourself busy, organizing yourself for the future and knowing that, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, you still have to go on. You still have to plan. You still have to, you know, have some dreams so that you can have something to look forward to. Um, it says here in the uh, area, accomplishments, art and design, home oriented and self-employed. So when you focus on some of the things that make you happier and you stay focused and busy, you know, this may be something that with time will heal and you can grow through this experience. So with this transformative full moon, it is about taking the situation and using it to help you grow through um, the experience. Our next one is going to be, mm -hmm, you've got it, Cancer. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Well, there's definitely a little sense that uh, the next few 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 weeks are going to be one where there is going to be somewhat of a personal struggle. And it's important that you let go of some of how things used to be. Living in the past is not helping you. What is important is seeing in the future and planting for the future. Planting thoughts of what you want in the future. Planting seeds of prosperity. Planting seeds of love. Planting seeds of hope. And you really need to watch what you're thinking and, and also make a, make an effort to, uh, be out in nature so that you can reconnect, you know, do, do some grounding, some grounding things. But definitely there is something happening or will be happening that there will be some feeling of lack, 
some sense that what you had is no longer there and you can't look through the rear view mirror you need to look forward and here we have um and this <laughs> okay eggs starting over so this sense that now you're going to have to start over and it's just kind of dragging you down a bit but you know this is what this moon in scorpio is doing we have to now face the music um we need to save up resources and a nest egg so this here is that lack of proper planning and you've just come full circle realizing that you you didn't so it's never too late to start saving and you know looking at your resources and create a nest egg it doesn't matter you start slow next thing is here health career health care new opportunities and insurance so when it comes to your health care you need to create your own insurance by watching what you eat getting good rest your liquid intake your mental and spiritual and emotional balance so that's your insurance so we look at these two cards they're both in the reverse and this one is the initiation initiation so this full moon is asking you get are are you ready well because it's in reverse it's like something is stopping you from you know and I would call it emancipating yourself. Something is stopping you from freeing yourself. Something is stopping you from taking that first step. And sometimes these challenges are the challenges for the initiate, for you to just see that as, okay, maybe the lesson that you have for this month is your ability to save money. And if you create a plan and look at how, set a goal, even if it's small, when you get to that end of the month and and you see that that you've reached that goal how good you'll feel can you do it again next month all right next one up is leo okay so right from the get-go we've got the world upside down and this is not a bad card when it's in reverse it means hey you know what slow and steady wins the race so as you work with this full moon energy about truth and about, you know, con continuing to embrace your truth and, you know, your shadow self. And as you do that, you begin to see progress. You can literally stop this moment and take a look at the last 10 years of your life and see where have you been emotionally, spiritually, mentally that's when you've done the biggest growth. So it's interesting that this message is in reverse as well. But this is just saying, letting, reminding you to stay the course because in the end, you will have that victory and you will have mastery. So small increase, valuable info, honest assessment. And it says your fresh start, steady work, and career building. So see, these are some of the, the biggest concerns that at the, what we call underneath the subconscious level, you are worried about, you know, these honest assessments like, okay, how honest can I be about what I want in life? Or am I deceiving myself? You know, let's not be worried about others right now. It's about being honest with yourself and, you know, looking for that fresh start. And you, one of your concerns is you would like to have steady income right now. You're not too sure if, you know, what you have will be here three months from now. So it does, you know, affect your mental state. But at this moment, you need to be satisfied with the minor progress that you're making and, you know, push your, your mental strength to know that you have been resilient in the past and you will be resilient in the future. And what does this say? Energy. And that is it right there. As you cre continue to build up on this and build up on your successes and be in gratitude of your journey, you will see that it will begin to give you an impetus to continue and have the breakthrough that you are looking for. So definitely this is a working month uh, of a lot of mental work to infuse that right mindset to move you forward. Okay, next one up is Virgo, our earth sign. And as earth, wow, 
financial prosperity. A lot of good stuff is coming in your mundane part, aspects of your life. So definitely, you will definitely be coming into some extra cash flow, some good news, something that is going to cushion you and give you that when you when you have enough money to give to others that means that your coffers are nice and full so this boaz that's coming for you awesome welcome it and embrace this new moon cycle with the fact that you are reaping the rewards of what you've already started so definitely may blooms for you and this is being confirmed with this beautiful falling coins here money coming in look at that twice and it says wealth, good investments, my wonderful, wonderful Virgos. Um, and here we go, sales and finance and getting a raise and getting lucky. All right, getting lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh, getting lucky. So the only thing that you need to just kind of be very careful that you don't get stuck in that material gain and into the material world. There is so much when you cross over so that you can awaken to all the possibilities and the blessings. So if you're getting a taste of this now, can you imagine how much more when you open yourself up to the abundance and the glory that God has for you? So this is a taste and begin to work spiritually that dynamic of yours so there's a little bit of that um, i'm getting a message here from you virgo that there is a little bit of trust issues but with time that's something that you need to work on all right our next one on the zodiac wheel is libra okay my libra what do we have here wowsy wowsy so something is happening and one of the things that I would say, work on this because there is a repetitive pattern that has been like, you could look back in your life and you could say, man, it's happening again. Well, why is it happening again? So this is a very important message because these things are happening because you have yet to learn those valuable lessons that will catapult you to the next level. So you've been ignoring the messages that you've been getting. You've been ignoring the little nudges that have been hope opening for you, but you've just been focusing on something else and not on what you really need to. So this card being in reverse is a, a big wake up call that you really need to not ignore those intuitions or counsel. You might be getting advice from someone that has is a very spiritual person, but you're just taking them for granted. So it's really important that you take some action in the direction of that counsel. It's interesting because then here we have in the regular world here, the financial growth coming to fruition, abundance. It says here, outdoor jobs, family business, and stability. So for you, for the month coming in, one of the things that you're going to be enjoying is watching this beautiful rewards from efforts that you've put into it. So definitely a lot of good things are coming. A lot of plans that you've made are coming through for you. And you can see what is pretty much the light at the end of the tunnel. And as you work through this and, you know, following your intuition, listening to the people that really have been there for you, it will even be even better so it's interesting that as we look at this one again so we have two of these cards your full moon message here is saying angel whispers so the hermit is about trusting that inner guide so there is a message for the, my libras that you need to trust those nudgings that you get and make that connection so that you can actually really watch this blossom in your life, your business, your bank accounts, your dreams, the things that you want in the future. So as you continue to open this up, you will actually reap more out of this full moon energy. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. Well, this is in your house. So let's see what it's bringing. Ah, so here we get it. So there's a lot of money. This is going to be a nice month for many of you with this cash flow. You know, so here we have abundance. We have uh, being able to make plans. Uh, I see something about building 
or moving to a new house. So there's a lot of movement for many of you in the Scorpios, for my Scorpio collective. So there's either you're moving, relocating, or planning, or making an addition. But definitely there is money flowing that you can make these new plans. So that is really, really good. Also, and I'm getting another message about uh, new relationships, marriages in that, in that wheelhouse as well. So coming together for that. So here we go. Wow, this, this whole spread looks fantastic. Look at that. So for our Scorpios, overcoming obstacles, power play and wealth. Um, it says here, owner boss, taking charge and making progress. So for, for the Scorpios on this wheel and this month, it is your house. It is in your house to really, as you let go and see that future and magnify it in your mind and making those investments and making these plans and, you know, these relationships are getting stronger really it's like you're the you're the king on the hill and then there's going to be a lot of new learning um in this this upcoming month with negotiations in relationships and the learning is going to really help you because once you learn something that's it it goes into your database and it helps you and family and friends and helps you in your business to uh provide better resources and become of greater value to your to your company or to your organization awesome okay Sagittarius is next Sagittarius is next okay Sagittarius looks like you've got good plans coming up ahead new opportunities new business new endeavors new projects everything is promising these things that are going to be showing up for you in this month are going to have some incredible rewards and they're going to be very fruitful and they're going to also not only benefit you but benefit others i love that ah but why why is the moon <laughs> upside down so there's some things though that are that need to be uncovered before this takes off so that's why there's a little slow progress in this. So let's take a look at this message. Fleeting funds. Ah, extra spending is going to happen this month. Unknown source. Being guided. Moonlighting. Odd jobs. Night shift and part time. So a couple things that are looking into the situation here is watch your pennies and you can find out what's happening with your dollars. So it's important that you... Uh, pay attention to that, to, to any extra expenses this month. But then at the same time, there's going to be an unknown source. So there's going to be also things that are going to be set up that's going to provide you with extra funds. The thing is, be very careful just because you have this cash flow coming in doesn't mean that you know you go out on a spending spree. Uh, but at the same time, opportunities are going to open up for you and you're going to have very unique Something unique is going to uh, present itself for you where in the non-traditional sense, it's going to open up this thing in the future. Okay, so pay attention to that. And then also something in the spirituality. It's You have to make a little bit dedication here. You are getting ready for something great in your life and taking these first steps is the next thing. And, and something's happening. Something is holding your back. Something that's not on the external, but you may be sabotaging your own spiritual growth. You may be the one stalling this thing. Incredible, um, you know, this incredible awakening that's, that's there for you. And something is holding you back from, you know, taking that step into the promises that God has made for you. So he's not holding you back. You are. So you got to ask yourself as you're working with this full moon energy that's in the Scorpio that's going to have you face your truth and just sit there and say, why am I stalling? Why am I stalling? Why am I afraid? What is it? And break through that. Okay. Capricorn. Mm. So in the area of justice, it looks like there are some things that you were waiting for. There's going to be some delays, whether this is a legal matter, whether this is a business matter, something that you wanted is going to be slow in happening. Uh, trust the process. That's the big thing. And make sure that 
there's a reason why there's these delays in these areas. But whatever it is, it has to do with contract. It has to do with a big purchase. It has to do with legal matters, anything in that area. But the reason for the delay is because we, there still needs to be some T's that are, need to get crossed and some I's that need to be dotted. If you are working with an advisor, you need to stay on top of them. You might be at the bottom of that pile. So get yourself on top of that pile and start moving things forward. But also don't lay it all on someone. Make an impact yourself and don't just leave it to other people. Know what's happening in the legal matters. Know what's happening in these transactions. Ask questions. And in that, we have the Buddha. The Buddha is about, hey, bringing you back to life purpose, that life is more than money, that there is spiritual wealth. And that spiritual wealth, wow, that one keeps compounding faster than money. So here, counselor, being guided and divine path. So you are at a place in your in your cycle with this moon that you are heavily being guided and that you are everything that's happening right now for you is putting you on that divine path so you've stumbled maybe you've fallen but you've picked yourself up because you are here and you know sometimes it feels like nothing's happening but as you continue to you know stay the course and stay true to your faith that God has greater things for you these things will begin to materialize for, as well and look at that with this full moon it is about releasing the old the old you is done with and you know you can say wave at him uh, throughout the window but you need to look forward you need to look forward and release the old you and welcome this higher version higher octane of you that is ready to embrace new opportunities and new experiences okay Aquarius Aquarius what do we have here wow look at these cups that is awesome Aquarius you are going to have a great great month this is like your this is just right like up in your up in your field and somehow um, this truth with uh, that the Scorpio energy that's being pushed upon us it's you're okay with this because you needed to let go of a lot of emotional baggage and so there's going to be a um, a lot of celebration there's going to be uh, it's i'm getting parties i'm getting weddings i'm getting uh some sense of union so a lot of celebrating is going to happen to the aquarians out there so that is awesome look at that winning money man there's a lot of money here in this full moon i i want to be a taker that's pretty awesome winning money payoff for effort uh recognition so I could see this advancement, professional work, and fame. So a lot of recognition, a lot of celebration, and money flowing in. Hello, hello, hello. That's why we're cheering to you. Raise the cup. I celebrate for you all this that's coming for you, my wonderful Aquarian. And this is giving you the sense of harmony because you have dumped the baggage. You are ready, and you are shielded, and you're feeling just this beautiful you know, like like what's left after the storm and this beautiful peace and serenity. And it's like, you know what? I can, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Hey, hey, hey. So this is awesome. I am really happy for my beautiful Aquarians. Okay. Our next one up is going to be Pisces. What do we have here? Okay, well, the time has come that you need to get off your tuckus. You need to get on with life. There is no more stalling. You've done all the book reading, the meditation, the research, and this is it. It is time to take action. You have now learned, and now it's time to act. So everything that, that has happened before this moment, take that as the lessons. So use them as tools because now you are mentally stronger. This period of sitting back and sitting down and being in the, you know, benched, it's over. This is now time to take action and to move forward. There's going to be a lot of opportunities that are going to be presented to you. And it's your ability, because you do have this ability, to mentally 
forge on and see how to get around things is going to be the biggest asset you have. So your brain is your biggest asset in this coming month. So here we have with the turtle, and I love it, more money, money coming slowly. But you know what? This here, this money slowly is your security and the steady progress. You are seeing that because now you are refreshed and now you can see all the places that need more attention. And it says here, moving for work in good time, long term. So as you continue to uh, move forward, in your pace, in God's divine time, you are, what is it called? You know, putting credits into your knowledge system, putting credits into your karma, putting credits into this person who you have been becoming, where people are looking at you and saying, this person, I can go to this person and you know what? I trust this person. And because they have a track record of doing things the right way. So that is awesome. The only thing here is that you just really need to trust yourself because in this full moon, the message is about application. The message is about application. And so that's what is lacking here is that you need to apply yourself. All the talking in the world is not going to help if you don't get up and do. And you need to stop expecting other people to be the first ones to do it. You just got to trust yourself and just start doing it. So what? You're going to mess up here and there. You know what? At least you'll know what not to do the next time. So begin now. And you know what you're going to find out? That all these people telling you do it this way, do it that way, and do it. They may be wrong because it may work for them, but not for you. So as you apply yourself into the things that you want to do, you're going to find out and develop the skills you need. So you're going to find out what you need to do, what the errors are, because that is huge. If somebody gives you a cheat sheet and says, don't do this, but these are going to work out. Well, you try these. Obviously, some of these, the ones that they even give you may not work for you, but hey, at least you know all these were failures. So for you, it's now time to apply and see what works for you. So time to get off the bench and start with that slow progress. Okay, the next one up is Aries. All right, what do we have here? Hmm, looks like there's a little emotional, emotional situation. There's gonna be, seems like there's gonna be some separation, uh, something with the family, something is quite off, uh, some issues. At the core, there's a collective group um, that are going to feel betrayed or hurt. There's going to be some parting of ways. I get, I see this parting of ways. Something in the family dynamic or in the relationship dynamic is going to be purged for a better word because this is the Scorpio moon and this one is going to sting. It's going to sting in, and this one is going to sting in the, for you, in the area of relationship. So you may just want to insulate yourself and prepare but the only way to transition through that is remember to be truthful and to know that and, and to allow others to be expressing their truth with you okay so what does this say here manifest okay manifesting money wow this money is everywhere um reach your goals financial assistance it says here hands-on work helping getting a job so definitely um it's talking about hands so definitely you're going to be in it you're going to be creating and this creation that you're going to be doing is going to be yielding you money so definitely for those of you that work with your hands or are creators guess what your creations are going to now come to life and they're going to bring you some benjamins so that is beautiful and so you just need to continue believing in yourself. So even though this is here, you know, just believe that God has you in his hands, hands and hands, get that? Wow. And so just trust the process, trust the process and, and believe that everything will be fine and that you are heading off to calmer waters. All right. There you have it. It's all beautiful. It's in the cards. Okay, let's take a look now. What is the collective message? I will be using the Archangel Gabrielle. And let's see what we have here for the collective. Mm -hmm. And 
The message is stay true to yourself. How perfect on this Scorpio full moon with the lunar eclipse. And it says here, don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, trust, and follow your inner voice. There you have it. I love it. Okay. Okay, my, my beautiful ones. I hope that you have a beautiful day and that wherever you are, that you allow this full moon that is bringing us and asking us to stand in truth and to eclipse our challenges, to eclipse our old version of ourselves so that we can continue to bloom like a flower. Make sure you hit the like button and hit the bell if you would like to get more notifications as well as subscribe to my channel. See you at the next video.